you are facing the task of cutting a shape such as this one through a multiple bend piece of sheet metal and get an accurate flat pattern. So what we want to do is go through that process. Your first inclination is just to take the sketch and extrude it through. Well that has a problem with it. We'll see right now. If I pick on this profile and then tell it to go all the way through as a cut, then do a flat pattern, you'll see a very big problem. Since the cut did not go perpendicular to the surface faces, you have tapered edges on your cutouts, as you can see. So that's not the answer. Let's go back and think about another one. Now, you might also then think, well, I'll just unfold it and place my sketch in multiple places, but then you think, well, I'll never line them up. I'm going to show you in this video a way to do it very cleanly. Let's get started. My method for doing this involves surfaces. So the first step is to go up and pick surface, pick offset surface, and then click on the outside of the sheet metal piece. Since it has contour radiuses and we have chaining selection on it, it will go all the way around it as you can see on the outside. Leave the distance zero and say OK. At this point you have two bodies. Let's expand it. You'll see the sheet metal body and the surface body. Let's turn off the sheet metal body temporarily. Now surface bodies have zero thickness so if we extrude this shape through all of the surface it will not have tapered edges because there's no thickness to it be affected. So we go to our solid environment, pick on extrude, it picks up the profile, I'm going to go all the way through as a cut. I can turn the sketch off now and as you can see we have a cut through the surface. My next step is to go up under create either in the surface or solid environment and go to thicken. This is a piece of 16 gauge as you can see 0.0598 thick. I want to pick on the faces of this surface and I want to go to the inside so I can match the piece of existing sheet metal perfectly. So this value is negative because right now the arrow is pointing outside 0 0.0598 and we have a piece of sheet metal. I went positive by accident so I'll do minus 0 0.0598. I want a new body and I'll say OK. Now let's turn the sheet metal body back on and you'll see it matches up perfectly with the body we just created. Next step is to go up under Combine. We'll pick on the sheet metal body first as a target body and the tool body will be the body we just created. We have three operations. Join, Cut, or Intersect. Intersect is not widely understood. What it means is that any part of the target body that is covered by the tool body will be kept and the rest will be taken away. So what's going to happen is these, the body at the bottom is going to take away the part we cut out in the surface. I'll say OK. We now have a new piece of sheet metal which will have a perfect flat pattern. Let's take a look and square edges. We'll just take a look and say OK because we already have a flat pattern and as you can see nice square edges. And plus as you can see also, it lines up perfectly. So next time you have to do a complex sheet metal cut through multiple bins, think about using the surface technique. Hope this helped you do better modeling in Fusion 360.